So if you guys caught the last video, you'll know I have completely demolished the head gaskets in my six swapped STI. <laughs> And I've been going back and forth over the past couple of days of what exactly I want to do. And we are going to have another motor built for this car that's closed decked, sleeved, can accept firings, one that will hold whatever we will throw at it. But in the meantime, after going racing yesterday in the Porsche, I just, I don't want to have the STI down. I much would have rather brought the STI and had more fun in the STI. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some new head gaskets in this car. I ordered them last night. I overnighted them, so fingers crossed they actually ship out tomorrow and they're here by no later than Tuesday or Wednesday, so that way I can get this car back together because we have another race coming up this weekend and I'd really like to be able to get the car out there. So what we're gonna do, strip everything down, figure out where the head gasket failed. Obviously, we know it's pushing coolant. There's coolant spraying out wherever it can. We're gonna go ahead and turn the car down on boost. Right now, it's around 50 PSI. We're gonna back that down to around 30-ish for the time being and keep it at that 30 psi point the car should be around 650 700 wheel at that boost level we're going to back the launch control down and we're going to make the car a lot more tame going to a larger turbo as well will help remedy the situation going from this 76 75 up to an 80 85 or a 76 85 with a bigger hot side it will definitely help relieve a little bit of back pressure but in the meantime i just want i want the car to work so if I had the get head gaskets here, I could fix the car in two days. I obviously don't, so it's gonna take a couple more days, but this car should be running again within five days maximum. Maximum, and that's waiting for shipping time. We're gonna go ahead and start stripping down Bertha here. Start with the manifold, start with intercooler piping, get the bumper off. We're just gonna take everything out of here, get this engine out so I can get those cylinder heads off, take them to the machine shop, have them redecked. We'll get our new gaskets in and we'll just make this thing fresh again and then just turn down the boost from our big old 76, 75 there down to about 30 PSI. And we should be solid, so I'm gonna go through here and let's start tearing this poor little engine bay apart. I have the engine pretty much ready to come out that at this point. All we really have left to do is pull off a couple fuel lines, pull out the starter, bell housing bolts, undo the exhaust from the up pipe. I'll probably drop the manifolds. I'll probably have those re coated this week since we did redo it, just to ensure that we have some good heat coating on everything since I'm already taking everything else back apart. But for the most part, I'm not seeing any damage or any holes or anything like that on the exterior of the block. So that is a good sign. Looks like it is just a head gasket failure, which is good for us. So easy fix for us to be able to do. I'm gonna slide underneath the car, do all the under the car stuff, such as motor mounts, transmission mount. Uh, we'll pull out the starter starter, disengage the throw up bearing from the clutch, and then get this thing up and out of here.
Engine's out, we can start ripping this thing apart now. I want to get these heads over to the machine shop tomorrow morning so I can get them back ASAP. So as soon as I get these new head gaskets in, I can get this thing back in the car and running again. Like I said at the beginning of the video, ideally if I had everything here, I could have the car running tomorrow night. But because I don't have a stash of these head gaskets sitting around, we're just kind of playing the waiting game. So I want to do everything within my power just to get this thing ready to go. So start stripping down an engine, take off timing cover, get the engine back in time, uh, take off all the timing components and we'll start getting off one head, jump to the other head, get them set aside, get them loaded up in the truck, go drop them off in the morning. <laughs> Give me back my gasket. Give me back my gasket. Thank you. Whenever you take these engines apart, there's a service bolt spot right here in the front of this gear that you gotta put in to keep this cam sprung. And it's gotta be, a, if they're always weird, it's gotta be a fully threaded bolt. Cam's still looking great. They'd never wanna come out. Oh, there it is. Come on. I can't be too mad. We lifted the head on literally every single cylinder. You guys will see the black in here for the exhaust gas escaping out of the cylinder into the cooling system on one, three, and five here. I don't know if two, four, and six is the same. I'm pretty sure it's just one, three, five because this is where all the coolant was always expelling from, but that is impressive. Not even gonna lie, it shows on the head gasket as well. If you guys look at the gasket, you'll see right on the edge right there, that silver portion, it lifted there, lifted there, lifted, if it'll focus on it, right there, all around here, right there, right there. It lifted pretty much the entire head. So thankfully, we never overheated, so we never warped the blocks. The block is still going to be good as a sealing surface. To play it safe, we will deck the cylinder head over here. It looks totally fine though, which is nice. You can definitely see though where the combustion gas was escaping literally out of every orifice except for the oil ports, which is good. We never had oil and coolant mixing. It was just combustion gas and coolant mixing. To be honest, for a head gasket failure, this is literally best case scenario. Combustion gas under boost going into cooling system, nothing from cooling system going into combustion chamber, no oil or coolant mixing. So this is like, no, car never overheated so best case scenario for a head gasket failure this is it so easy fix i'm gonna jet out for tonight we'll pull the other head in the morning we'll go take the heads over to the machine shop drop them off pick them up later this week when the new head gaskets come in we'll go ahead and get everything cleaned up get the block reassembled get it back in the car get it running and we're gonna go racing next weekend with the sti we're gonna turn it down to about 650 700 wheel which should be about 30 to 35 psi which should be totally manageable for those comedic gaskets we're gonna dial back the launch control because that is pretty uh, gnarly right now and there's a we have a good amount of timing in the launch control so we're gonna dial all that back get the car to a state where it's happy right now build a separate motor on the side that has sleeves firings all that stuff so for the time being we'll make work what we got we'll just dial the car back a little bit so next morning we're about to go run and drop these heads off I just got to pull off this other set but I found what I believe to be a solution for our lifting head issue so what I bought is a tool that will sit inside of the bore of the cylinders and allow me to cut o-rings into the block to accept copper gaskets or copper o-rings so what we're going to do is run a copper o-ring i watched the whole process on how to do it so this will be my first time doing it we're going to cut our own o-rings use copper wire and a new mls gasket which should ensure this engine gets its best chance at life for big boost 
So I'm not gonna turn the car back down. I might turn it down a couple pounds and we are gonna dial back launch control a little bit. But for the most part, that should help seal the compression gases a lot because the whole point of having the O-ring in there is as an interference between the head gasket and the block to help seal things a lot more for high compression, or not high compression, but just high cylinder pressure. So am I saying it's going to be a 100% fix? Pro maybe, I, I don't know. To be honest, I just, I don't know. It will, dramatically help and give this engine a fighting chance. So we're gonna cut our own O-ring. Can't be that hard, right? So let's go ahead, let's get off our other cylinder head, get it cleaned up, get the buckets pulled out, get them labeled, go drop these heads off at the machine shop so that way we can get it back relatively quickly because I like two to three days shipped, everything I need to be able to do this. is looking phenomenal as we're taking all this apart. Shoes are so slippery. We blew out all six. Impressive. This side's way worse. Whole bottom of the gasket, bottom of the gasket, bottom of the gasket, top of the gasket, all six. I'm impressed. Surprisingly enough, cylinders two, four, and six were way worse than one, three, and five. As you guys can see here, all around cylinder four here, big blowout into the cooling system. Right here on cylinder six, it was doing the same thing. Cylinder two, or cylinder, yeah, cylinder two looks like the only one that didn't really have a massive failure, but this is what happens when you run 50 PSI through MLS gaskets. So our new solution with O-ringing this block should help it an absolute ton. And like I said, best case scenario for a head gasket failure is this, where you don't have coolant and oil mix, you don't have coolant getting into the combustion chamber, it was just, Pressure getting into the cooling system and blowing coolant everywhere. Could We could just toss that 13B in here. We're not gonna do that. All right, let's go get these heads dropped off. Hopefully it won't be a crazy long turnaround time. I did get confirmation our head gaskets have shipped out. I'm waiting on that tool to ship out from Summit. Typically Summit Racing with their like random tool stuff that I buy ships out pretty freaking quick. So let's go get these heads dropped off so that way we can get Bertha back there, back on the road, hopefully this weekend. Heads are dropped off at the machine shop. They said I should get them back Wednesday, Thursday, pending that they don't find any uh, leaking valves or anything like that, which there shouldn't be. There's only like 1500 miles on those heads. Um, so they're gonna hot take them, surface them, we'll get them back. The O-ring tool has already shipped. The head gaskets have already shipped. So if everything goes according to plan, the Subaru should in theory be racing this weekend at the event that we have coming up at Import Face Off. I, I really wanna get the car out there to get it out to another event to get it racing. We'll see how it does. Um, I talked to Josh and a couple other people. I talked to Jeremy down at out front. So we're gonna be using copper wire not stainless steel. I just wanted to clarify that with people who have done this before. Copper wire is gonna be for your MLS or multi-layer steel gaskets. Steel wire, especially on an aluminum block, we don't want it to dig into the block. Steel wire is typically going to be used for a composite gasket. So all we gotta do 
is successfully cut the block for o-rings and we should be solid so let's jet back to the our new place let's jet back to the new place and uh get things sorted get this video up and then i'm going to order the last of little stuff i need i need to order a pressure sensor because we are going to be adding coolant pressure because with lifting a head like this i don't want to have to do this again so if we can avoid it and we can catch it early i'd like to do so that's all i've got for you guys on this one i am i'm pumped to get the subaru back out there I still need to order some slicks, so I'll probably try. I'll see if I can find a set locally. If I can find a set of slicks locally, that would be ideal. If not, I'm going to see if I can borrow a buddy of mine uh, to be able to take the car out this weekend. If not, then I'll be sending that thing turned down on all seasons. Probably just kill the all seasons, though, because it's just going to rip right through those tires. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you liked the video, if you're hyped to see that we have found a solution for our lifting head issue, which I'm still impressed, we lifted all six cylinders. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Doesn't bother me. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies.